Hey, have you been seeing MIDI around and have been wondering what it is? This is Wyatt from Bookshelf Productions, and in this tutorial, we'll take a look at MIDI basics so you can get started taking advantage of this robust and extremely useful tool. Let's start by making sure we have a new MIDI track to work with. Go to the menu, create, insert MIDI track, or the keyboard shortcut, command shift T. MIDI tracks look similar to audio tracks, but are in fact quite different. Check it out. Let's open up the browser. Command Option B. Select Sounds. In the list, find Piano and Keys. Open the Disclosure Triangle and find Grand Piano. Drag the Grand Piano onto a MIDI track. And now you can see the Grand Piano has been loaded onto that track. And now let's switch over to the Arrangement view. I'm going to resize my track height to make it easier to see. Let's move the playhead to the beginning of the session by double clicking on the stop button or press home on the keyboard. Record arm the grand piano track and push record. Now we have an empty MIDI clip. I'm going to make this clip two measures in length. Double click on the clip header to edit the clip in the MIDI note editor. Move your mouse cursor just to the left of the piano roll and you'll see it turn into a magnifying glass. Click and drag left and right to change the height of the notes up and down to scroll. The same navigating rules apply to the MIDI note editor as they do to the timeline discussed in volume two. Let's make sure the MIDI editor preview button is blue. This allows us to hear the grand piano when we click on the notes in the piano roll. We are triggering the MIDI grand piano instrument we placed on the track. Let's enter draw mode to play some notes on our piano roll. Menu, options, draw mode, or keyboard shortcut B. Let's make sure the clip is selected. Notice the changes that are happening in the MIDI clip above. B to get out of draw mode so we can make a selection. Now I'm gonna make these notes a little longer. You can hold option, click on a note and drag to copy that note. Spacebar for playback. Let's say we love what we've written, but we don't like the piano. No problem. We can change the instrument, but keep what we've written. Shift tab to switch from the MIDI note editor to the device chain. In the browser, we can basically choose anything from the sounds category we want. I want e-piano straight. Now we've swapped out the grand piano for an electric piano. This is just the tip of the iceberg for MIDI. We'll explore more in the next volume. If you've enjoyed these tips, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or would like to leave any feedback, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or reach out to me via email, wyatt at bookshelfproductions.com. I've got tons of these videos on the way, so let me know if there's anything specific I can help you with. Until next time, bye.